one of the biggest errors that I see today that people make is thinking or misunderstanding to realize that when you meet somebody and you are so in love with today and you even eventually get married, that feeling, those butterflies, that honeymoon phase does not stay like that forever. You must be realistic about that. Hallelujah. And why am I going with this? Okay, listen. By the way, you watch me for the first time. I am Ishmael N and welcome to today's video. Praise the Lord. I believe this word is going to help somebody a lot. Hallelujah. Because God does answer prayers. You must understand that. God gives almost every one of us, in fact, all of us at one point or another, some blessings, answers to our prayers. But the problem is we miss out from the appointment, from the time. When God finally shows up, we are no longer there or we don't recognize his gift or his blessing. That's what the Bible said in the book of Hebrews. Don't get weary in chapter 13. Don't get weary of entertaining strangers because some they've entertained angels without being aware. Meaning you can get tired and you start acting rude while that was an angel. So you see how easy it can be to miss out from a blessing. So listen up. People today are praying so hard about good marriages, good spouses and all these things. Yes. And I say someone is going to receive a good loving spouse. Receive this with Amen. That is true. And uh, before then, you want you need to know something so that you need to be prepared to be aware so that you don't miss out. Leave, remember, the enemy never wants to see you happy. So the enemy will do whatever it takes to prevent that. That's why the enemy has many strategies to prevent, to destroy marriages. When before you get married, make sure you don't get married. If you end up being married, make sure that you divorce or you separate. You see how cruel the enemy is? So listen, most people, they mistaken this a lot. And I understand it's not that easy. They mistaken that sometimes in the beginning, when you feel like you don't love somebody, some, somebody so much, they feel like, ah, oh, that is not the one. Now, and I need someone who, yeah, I can feel that this is the person. Yes, I can feel, ah, oh, I'm in love. I want someone. You are already, they, that feeling, let me tell you something. Try to imagine when it comes that you feel like that feeling is going to be like that for the rest of your life. That's how deceptive the in love honeymoon phase feeling is. Without realizing, let me tell you something. One way or another, you will get to a point where that person that you love, you're so much in love with. You look at them, feel like, ah, you start taking them for granted. Don't, don't, why is this common? Ain't you surprised? And most Christians, they have a thing of, ah, nah, then it means that was last. He never loved there or she never loved him. Listen, listen, listen. Yes, you might say that, but I almost wanted to say there is a thin line between lust and love. But I don't think there is really a thin line. It's easy to differentiate the two. Uh, these things between lust and love, lust, if you want to know maybe whether maybe you are, you are lasting, I believe some people can last as well as love. I, I just guess. I think it's possible though. But last on its own is a thing of when you look at somebody and when you look at them, all you think about is being sex intimate with them, being getting sexual with them. Then that is last. You see a man sees a lady on a mini skirt, and just because you saw the legs and how you start to picture, oh, if I could just grab her and all these naughty things. It means, that's why some of the men will sleep with a woman and then they ghost her. If you find that, it, and those things, they happen very quick. Why? Because you find that maybe they're at a party. He sees a lady, she's dressed, dressed or oh, she's wearing a shirt and look at the legs. Like, oh, he just picture getting in her pants. And the, after that, okay, he got what he wanted. He's satisfied, almost like you just ate and you are feeling full. You no longer want food, right? Then you are out. But there is something that you love. If it's food that you love, even after you get full, you notice, oh, I'll still need to finish this tomorrow. Oh, this food, I want to keep it. That's how it is. So when someone, you love somebody, is the thing of you hardly don't see them in a sexual manner. You just appreciate them for being them. They are being. You don't look at her and picture. Sometimes you even get to a point where you be like, huh, I think I so love this lady. For guys, for example, but you realize 
it never crosses your mind picturing yourself sleeping with her at all so that is a very good clear indication of love interest that's how i look at it okay that's at least that's how i look at it but of course that i say maybe if it's just like married couple of course two and two they do so anyways listen there there is no thin line when you finally bump into somebody that loves you it's not always advisable to just look at how if your love is so much if you are feeling so much butterfly that excitement sometimes it might not be there but at least work with the small interest that is there hmm, let me try to explore this person for a month or two let me give it a time and see how well it goes and let me tell you something the reality is some people when you give them a shot eventually you start falling for them and you love them and see how great and you realize how much you love them this is very common but the, the challenging stage is the initial part <clears throat> praise the lord is the initial part when you're still getting to know them when you still are to open up your heart for them or to give it a shot because you are not sure but listen the moment you say ah, come on what else am i gonna lose like what oh what i like it's not gonna kill everybody anybody it's not like i'm sleeping with this person or anything it's just yeah talking going out on dates and as christians yeah so what harm will it happen will it do then yeah you give it a shot and you'll be surprised but there are some people that even after a month or two at the most you realize that now it does it doesn't i can't connect we can't vibe we don't so that's when you are sure so that's why i'm telling somebody it happens even myself there are people in from the past whom i could tell that they really loved me but there were some things about them that i did not like and i realized even if i force things eventually this is going to terribly backfire me and i didn't just let it go like that i tried to give it time some couple of months and that those or there's someone whom i remember this is a very big, good example whom at first i was not so sure after giving it a chance i realized oh my gosh i was so in love with this lady I, you get what i'm saying so those things are realistic don't miss out god is sending somebody away remember these words i'm sharing with you don't wait for god to come speak audibly this is the way that you're gonna get this is how clear the voice will be unto you okay because look at this as i conclude the video one way or another whether you met somebody and you felt so much in love and whether you met somebody and you were not so much in love in the beginning all of you your fate you'll end up in this position where you get used to one another you no longer feel butterflies there's are some married couple who even i've read this book and it's a real book a uh, real story some they even got to have about 11 years without ever being intimate you see how real it is but they stay in the same house they are raising kids together so this thing is real you don't eventually i remember in fact let me refer you to this book the five love languages when some were giving testimonies sir the man who wrote that book some of you know it he was like the maximum time of a honeymoon phase to fade it's is it two and a half years or three years somewhere there but i think it's two or something and some it ends after three months the sum is six months but as the longest most probable possibility can go is two years meaning you will get to a phase to a stage where now uh yeah you're just yeah normally in love things are just even if you feel like you know i have had many people who be like yo i was so much in love with my husband but now ah uh, uh. so that stage is that's why marriage is more than honeymoon things raising kids together building a house together expert that's what they say someone must now be your friend not look at them in as a a, a sexual being because a time will come when you no longer feel like being sexual so it means you'll stop loving them that's why but if someone is your best friend with your friends no matter how long you've been friends you never feel like ah, i'm tired of this friend i want you as no when you want to gossip you gossip with them when you want to cry share problems you share with them isn't it with friends so that's the thing even with your partner is like that that will be your best friend you don't look at each other as sexual beings even when he's not there you're still interested to spending time with them you are used to that person you're no longer even if someone new comes you can tell that you don't vibe well so that's how it is give it a chance okay your time is near so don't miss it
Pray about it in Jesus' mighty name and receive your kingdom spouse. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. Bye-bye.